zhuzh, zhuzh. This is the struggles of growing your fringe out. <laughs> from Much Ado About Nothing. Let's go, baby! Yeah! Ooh, ooh. So Dogsbury is chief of the Night Watch, which are the police that guard over the city of Messina, where the play is set. At the moment where this speech is being said, Dogsbury has just apprehended Boreccio and Conrad and is interrogating them. He calls forth the sexton, which is effectively a priest, and uh, he uh, begins to interrogate them. During this, he calls Conrad a naughty varlet. Oh, naughty varlet. And Conrad angrily responds that you are an ass. Dogsbury takes this very much to heart because he takes it as a sort of class criticism. Dogsbury, as a character, is part of the emerging bourgeoisie within Renaissance Italy. Being called an ass is possibly the worst thing he could be called because it's everything he, stri he strives not to be. This is evident when he says, I have two robes. Robes in Tudor England were considered a sort of luxury item. So by having two, it shows that he's relatively well off. What's great about this speech is the amount of times that Dogsbury misuses words and doesn't even blink think about it. We see this in the first line with him using the word suspect instead of respect and also uh, the use of piety instead of impiety despite his dodgy grasp of the english language he still manages in apprehending both conrad and Boreccio and unveiling don john's plan to uh steal hero though he isn't a nobleman he's a fundamentally good and honest person. He was just doing his job. He's, there's no malice to him. He's just this bumbling fool. And he wants to, he wants justice to be found. Fools in Shakespeare's plays are generally portrayed by men. However, I don't think that that's a necessary part of their character. It could be interesting within this play to experiment with gender dynamics around Dogsbury being, put, being a woman and commanding the attention and respect of all of his underling watchmen. And the, what, that could also be funny because like the watchmen are terrible and he's also terrible, but at least he tries. And I think as a woman, we can all relate to that kind of idea that at least we try. It also has this broken iambic pentameter, which further perpetuates the idea that Dogsbury doesn't have a grasp on the English language. So in this speech, uh, Dogsbury is talking directly to Conrad and to his uh, fellow watchmen. There's this sense of him trying to maintain dignity, though he's been deeply hurt, and almost setting an example for the other men of how to deal with it, even though he's not dealing with it very well. Dost thou not suspect my place? Dost thou not suspect my years? Oh, that he were here to write me down an ass, but masters. Remember that I am an ass, though it be not ripped down yet. Remember that I am an ass. Oh, thou villain, thou art full of piety, and shall be proved upon me by good witness. I am a wise fellow, and which is more an officer, and which is more a householder, and which is more as pretty a piece of flesh as any in Messina. And one that owes a law, go to. And a witch enough fellow, go to, and a fellow that hath had losses, go to, and a fellow that 
has two gowns, and everything handsome about him. Bring him away. Oh, that he had writ me down an ass. Thank you.